Hello, and welcome to another Keyshot 9 animation tutorial. In this video, we'll talk about using Keyshot 9's new animation curve to define custom motion ease. In previous versions of Keyshot, motion ease curves were predetermined between three choices, ease in, ease out, and a combination of the two. In Keyshot 9, Luxion has introduced the custom animation curve option, available in the Motion Ease drop-down menu. This option allows users to have greater control when applying motion ease to part and camera animations. With the animation timeline open, the custom animation controls can be accessed by selecting the desired animation node, choosing the time settings accordion, and clicking on the Motion Ease drop-down menu. Here, the previous three options are still available, with the new Custom Motion Ease option located at the bottom of the drop-down menu. In this case, my three camera animations have already been assigned traditional ease-in, ease-out motion settings, while my propeller translation still needs to have a Motion Ease setting assigned. I'll open the Motion Ease drop-down and select the new custom setting available to Keyshot 9 users. Then I'll scroll down to my animation curve. Here, I can use the existing keys to adjust my animation so that the selected propeller translates upward in a smooth manner with a slight reversal of motion at the top of its movement. It's important to note that individual keys can be added as needed and can be used to control interpolation and tangency within your animation. Custom curves will also remain applied when copying and pasting animations to other parts. I'd like to do that with my current part in order to reduce my time spent animating components. I'll locate my current animation, copy it, and then paste it to my non-animated propellers. I'd also like to add that animation curves can be copied and pasted across animations. I can then adjust my spacing for desired effect, and when I press play, the custom animation assigned will now be visible across all four of my propeller animations. Thanks for watching this Keyshot 9 animation tutorial. Let us know your thoughts on this tutorial in the comments section below. If you found this video useful, give it a like and share with your friends.